We just built this uh, little trailer. It's got 315 watt LG solar panels. We're just testing this little gas Honda generator right now on auto start. And then next will be this diesel generator. They're both 7,000 watts. I have a 3,000 watt load on the generator right now. You can see it's 2,800 watts. The voltage is 50.8. As soon as it gets down to a constant 50 volts, the generator is going to start. The AGS is here, and it's set to automatic right now. So this electric heater was only used for test purposes. It's set at 3,000 watts. Is what it's on right now. So soon as soon as it pulls down, it'll start. But it has to pull down to 50. So I think my lithium battery is still putting out real good. That's a Discover 48 volt, 6.6 .6 kilowatts, 10 years of warranty. It talks to the system through the communication to the Zambus, which then can upload uh, to the internet and a cloud-based server that you can bring up on Connext Insight. We're still at 50.5. So I'm just going to turn the heater even higher. Lean it back so you can see it. Turn the heater higher, bring it to 5,000 watts. You can understand 5,000 watts. That's quite a load on on an inverter of this size. It is coming down 50.1. As soon as it's below 50, the generator goes into run. It's fired up. Generator just started. Generator will run for 30 seconds to warm up. I can adjust that time to minutes if it's cold out. Generator's running. Generator's inverting 3,000 watts, or sorry, generator's powering the inverter. So the generator's putting out 5,500 watts. It's charging 50 amps into the battery right now to try to bring that number up. So I'm just gonna turn this heater off so that the battery will charge faster. So you can see I unplugged it. My load now is only 38, or I guess it's zero amps, uh, zero watts. The generator's charging away at 2,600 watts, or 50 amps on the battery. I have the generator set right now for test purposes to shut off at 54, 55, 55 amps, 55 volts, sorry. So as soon as this comes up to 55, the generator will shut down. We set it fairly close so we didn't have to wait 30 minutes for this to happen. The sun, the sun is charging 270 watts or 5 amps. And the battery's sitting at 54, so we're still kind of waiting. As you can see, the power's still on. Fifty-four point two. Lithium battery charges so nicely. We'll just go have a look at the generator and see how we've put things together here. So we've built a 25 foot cord that ties into the generator. It ties into the generator into here. You can disconnect it and unhook it and move it along. It's got five hours on the generator, 2800 watts. That's what the generator's powering right now. Nice little fuel injected guy. Let's see where we're at. 54.9. Oh, we're doing good. 55. So we'll go over 55 for just a bit. And then it'll shut the generator off. So we're getting close. So this generator on. Once it gets up to 55. There, there we go. Generator cut out. It's in a cool down right now, so generator is no longer powering the inverter. It's at zero, the load's at zero. Generator will cool down for 30 seconds, and the generator will shut off. Kind of interesting, a watch toaster never pops. Never thought that was true until today. Still waiting for generator shutdown. There we go.
Generator on, generator off, no lights on. There we go. All right, we'll make another video now with the diesel one.